so far? I do like the drafts. I feel like Alchemist is gonna have problems though this game. So like once again, I think uh, PSG LGD have disappeared draft. So okay. I'm probably gonna the go with them begins. when it comes to who's gonna win this game. All right. Uh, but at least Nigma now they changed their roles. Our man is playing uh, support, yep. and Kuro is playing core. Kuro is a very capable core player. He has been. A uh, very good core player in the past, so let's see what he can do. Uh, Maybe sure. this is the change that the team needs. Yeah, but a sudden change, man. This is gonna be yeah, a sudden change, but also just throw everything apart. Because like, yeah. now suddenly Miracle's playing middle, and your post five players playing off lane, and suddenly your mid players playing carry, and you're like, what is happening? Man, in the most Nobody important knows game. What's yeah. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that Miracle is not playing Alchemist. Like. This is about as a miracle of a hero as it can get. Like, Alchemist and Miracle go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. He has always played it. And now yeah. suddenly it's Weha playing it. Like, I don't know. I feel like Nigma has always been about enabling Miracle. And mm. they really went away from the recipe. So we'll yeah, maybe maybe put so far it happened. Zero maybe three. they put too much weight on the uh, Miracle shoulder or something like that. Mm. Maybe, yeah. Uh, we have to see how it, how it pans out. All right. Whew. Man, this one, definitely. Uh, I heard the uh, panelists are talking and kind of worry about dealing with the pushing strat from Team PSG LTD for Team Nigma. And uh, Nigma replied with an Alchemist. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I mean, Alchemist is always a scary hero. Like, if he goes out of control, he can have like a minute 10 Battle Fury, minute 13, like BKB, whatever. Mm. And you can just completely dominate the game. But you have to be, you know, like you have to give him space in order to do that. Yeah. Which in this game, I feel like there's not going to be a whole lot of space because Troll is a very fast paced hero, Ember is, Beastmaster is, and they're really going to bring the fight to Nigma in this game. All right. You have been the denied. Top. Seems like if that will be a first blood. He's struggling a lot already. Yeah. First blood go to which lane? Uh, I'll tell you when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I, I think so. I, uh, I do think most potential for first blood is probably bottom. Mm. Yeah. Probably, but you never know. Uh, no. Dota is an unpredictable game. I am one of the best players in the world, of course, but I can only predict as much, you know. Like, if I was in the game, my lane would be the first blood lane, because I I would just kill them, obviously. Yeah, Ember Spirit, he went for the 8th on top. No, so low. Ember Spirit so went low. for... Yep, oh, okay, back to the middle oh, lane Ember, once again. Oh, you? okay, this is going, going to be the fight to the dead. Miracle. Yeah, no, no fight to the death. <laughs> nope. Yeah, but I feel like whoever lose the first blood here or die first in this lane is gonna come out like so under farm later. Yeah, so this matchup is pretty Ember favorite, I would say. Like 6 4 for Ember. No, no, no. So no. I'm expecting Ember to do quite well here and they got some rotations. Ayo, oh, one more hit. Yeah. Ah, the balls. Oh, it's still oh, on the rim. Nice the rim. It's gonna be Sin Kill turn to go down here. Being killed by Weeha. And wow. there goes the first blood to Weeha. And I meant to kill Korea too. Hello, back to the middle lane. Oh, get the pull to the tower. Yeah, oh, we're gonna get it. Oh, nothing to say. Uh, uh, okay, it's fine. Okay. There's a healing self. There's a healing self. Okay. So he's Super gonna be in okay. a very good shape to get the next rune. And he gets his bottle refilled as well. Okay, so Miracle is gonna struggle quite a bit here. Unless somebody's gonna come and refill his bottle. Maybe if he gets lucky and finds a region rune that can salvage the lane, but he is in big trouble right now. Mm. And nothing to say. He says, go away from my rune. I'm much stronger than you. And Miracle says, okay, sorry. Flame Scott, right? Okay. Not here. Running oh, out of HP, running out of mana. Still Fairy going fire? straight and kill that RMN. Nothing to say. Yeah. Well, we gotta give the credit to Y on Innocence. Uh, he keep on chasing the target, not giving up until the assist. Until that nothing to say, yeah. get the kill. He annoyed Iron Man so much that Iron Man was like, ah, you damn annoying. And then he started fighting him. <laughs> Like a little mosquito. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay, bottle refill though for the uh, Void Spirit, so it was not a terrible death. And we just had to see like the mid laner. 
Yeah. No, they are. He, he should be fine here. Like, whoever makes the better rotations for the mid laners is gonna, you know, just open up the game for their team. Who's gonna start the roaming first for this one? Oh, it really depends, I think, on the Minus 6 team, whoever gets that. Okay, okay. kills. Team oh, side. God, no. Pulled yeah, to the, the tower. This is coming out from the Gen Z. Why? Why? Hey, wait. wait. Just one hit away. They, they are not able to kill Miracle as they almost go down to that. But however, nothing to say. Still diving in. A few hits away. Miracle gets into the tree line, but no, he's coming back and gets the kill. Ooh. Well, wow. nothing to say. Yeah, I mean, Miracle outplayed them there quite a bit. Playing on like 50 health for about 10 seconds. With Fairy Fire, Stick, Bottle Charges, even the Healing Self. Now he's level 6, and nothing to say he's not. What do you think he has to say after this? <laughs> well, <laughs> nothing to say. I mean, a, a little bit too deep for him. He's trying so hard. Yeah, this ball kind of stuck in the uh, other red man as well. That just... And that's, uh, that, that's the point where Yunusen need to leave the scene. Leaving awful. nothing to say alone. Gonna give the credit to RMN too, coming in the perfect timing to save the board. Yeah. Well played by RMN. We can already see RMN is so much more comfortable playing support than offlane. Like he is a natural support player and he's doing a really good job. Yeah. And since when is your last time seeing Kuroki playing core? Uh, I mean he plays it in pubs quite regularly, mm -hmm. but in pro games, yeah. probably Half a year or longer. Double damage in power speed. Ah, wait. I did play off when he played carry at the time. Are getting pulled again with the remnant? Oh, yeah. Woo! Miracle that God Radiant's is back. Is under that, and that, that's going to be disaster of a TPSG LTD as well, as we talked earlier, that whoever wins this uh, solo kill first Radiant's is going to have so far attack. ahead in terms of experience and the fun. Yep, he gets the first kill on the Ember, he gets yep. level 6 first, and makes good use of it. Kuroki the bug in here on Y, one more... Nice. Yeah. One more Whirling Death, sealed the deal. And he's doing really well for himself on Timbrasaw as well. Yeah. True. No, nothing to say. Teleporter down, trying to defend the tower, but the tower is going down. He himself gonna hit by the Chakran. Kuroki chasing on him, he's quite tanky. By Red Nets away, away for uh, nothing to say. Back to the top lane, what's happening? Uh, setting up the uh, Bramble Mates. Have seen Io yeah, going this. down there. We have no Primal Roar available. Once they have that, Alex is in trouble, but he's going to be level 6 attack. momentarily, and then he's just going to do Ching. And then the Blades are out, 50 HP region. No way to yeah. kill that guy. What's the way? What, what's the best way to deal with alchemists? I I heard from my pro player uh, friends that the, uh, the best way to deal with alchemists is to not dealing with him at all. Just just let him farm and and try uh, to deal with his teammates. That, that's the possibility. However, okay, initiation of the bottom rune. And yeah, rune is top. Miracle is going around chasing for nothing to say. Oh, wow, he's gonna Miracle get the God again. Attack. Yeah, got the rune first. And, but however, he's not safe here. He's being surrounded by a lot of PSG LTD players. It's 3v1. However, the simulator is still in the middle of the fight. He wants to commit. He calls his teammates in. And Nigma, uh, DF is right here. Thanks are in. And also IMN. IMN perfect positioning. Thunder strike and a normal attack to kill. But can they take that thing. Miracle? Thanks are in. Healing him a little bit. Let's go for round two. Yes. Is he gonna go in again? Man, Kuroki is just not... I feels like he plays this hero with so comfortable. Yeah, he, he's very confident. You can tell that he played Timber quite a bit. Uh, he doesn't have a hood though, so a Timber without hood is still killable. And he's not even going into a hood, so he has to be a little bit more careful than the typical Timber player. But they don't have too much magic damage on the side of 
LGD anyways. All right. He got a very early bottom tower. Now it's rotating middle to get that tower. And <laughs> oh, good oh, smoke no. here. Oh, no. Oh, they right on the side. No. Right for minute number 10. This is going to be a big, big team fight. They started off with catching the Elder Titan. He goes down without using any Echo Stomp or Atlanta spells. Now he goes down already. Team of Chains in. Team kill fight to have the tower. He's still in there. And our mid team of tower is not going to damage that much to the team of Zorg. The range of Team PSG as he did trying to just fall back safely. And they can. Yep. And Alchemist is getting a ton of space because of this. They already opened up the map for the bottom. As soon as his mid tower is down, have like pretty much half of them to focus on. Wow! Wow! Slowed up for full health instantly. Yeah, but they take a look at the fight once again. Here we go, commit to win the dissimulate and actual steps away. Miracle. Yeah. He's so fast. What, what a fancy dancing fireman, fight your fireman! The swan you kick down at Miracle, he's so low, that becomes the wild access, but it seems like PNG actually is not gonna end that easy. IMN will be the next high kick going go into the free line. Looking here and there, was hit by the wild axe, slow him down. Got him, another yeah. kill. Two down. Smell my feet, says Ame, as he tramples down the disruptor. This is really benefiting the Alchemist though. Like he is doing very well for himself. And it's definitely a hero, as we said, that can snowball out of control, you know. He's doing very well. He's got Radiance. Yeah, it's all close, man. Wow, he's not going to be but Radiance, that is so old school. And yeah, yeah, I was generally a lot worse than Battle Fury, considered nowadays. It's more expensive. And just overall, doesn't give you the mana region, the sustain that you have with Battle Fury. We'll see if it pays off, but I'm not a big fan of Radiance in general anymore on Alchemist. Oh, that's a strong point made by you, man. They, uh, we are going for the Radiance, that's interesting. I'm, I'm all about those strong points, dude. <laughs> that's good, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's good. I like you too. Yeah. I like you too. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Radiance bottom tower nice one, man. is under attack. So, um, and another smoke up here. Miracle and our man. Yeah. Let's see if they can catch the troll. There's no disruptor ult available yet. GH yeah. going down on the other side, but let's focus on the troll. Yep. Uh, and the bomb late seems to be a big fight here. They, they get rid of the card. On top, he's gonna get caught. Arme, this might be the first time that he goes on this game. PSC LGD Arme down. To be a good trade for Team Nick, but they lost their support at bottom lane, but they strike back on top. Uh, however, he finished yeah. his Radiance already. Radiance that's completed, my... yeah. So this is a strong timing now, so I want him to join some fights. Possibly, yep. uh, you know, kill that troll one more time, maybe. Roki, turn on the uh, Chakran. Nothing to say, it's now level 10. Yeah. That's higher than level 9. Good. That's another strong point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, back to the game, ladies and gentlemen. It's the uh, 13 minutes in, and it seems that, that there might be some action around here because they're gathering up, maybe doing a little bit of smoke. Better make sure that there's no CC camera around there. I mean, the ward. That, that was so many times that I used the smoke in, uh, under the enemy walls and it turned into a disaster. So. Yeah, here we go, another fight, grab a mate. Uh, mate being quick here. Raw yeah. First time he's going to burn. Where, where, where is he? Now you see me, he's now gone. you don't. Oh, he's yeah. gone. You have the universe away. Oh. Okay. Oh, he's gone. 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 Right back in the action with full health and mana. And GH's IO has always been so good at saving allies, and he's showing it here again. And game yep. one already had a lot of clutch space. Game two as well, doing very well for himself. Alchemist is still completely untouched. You see, he's only 2,500 gold ahead of the troll. I feel like if he went Battle Fury, it would have been like four, closer to 5k at this point, because he had a complete free game. Is that because he, he trying to Radiance get the Radiance Aura in order to stop the attack from Troll or something? I mean, the Radiance Aura itself is not bad, it's just it slows down your own game by quite a bit, which yeah. is generally why people build Battle Fury. Because you're all about those item kinds of the path that they come. Yeah, it be. But it seems like he and GLTD is gonna do what he can to take down his mid tier tower. Uh, team Nigma setting up their layers of defense and setting that we are standing in front. 
Sai Raid. Yeah, Weha is gone. pretty unkillable right now, mm -hmm. especially with the IO behind him. He has the Sange picked up for the additional health region as well. It is uh, going to be a hard task to kill him once he has ultimate activated. Troll oh. is still about five minutes to become uh, online himself, but they're just smoking into the triangle without yeah. the troll. A golden triangle, this is going to be an important fight to set up the momentum in the mid game. Let's see who's going to start it first. Going in by Remnant here, the Dan, setting up a six spray. One wall back to the tower, but the rest of the PTSD LTD are already here. They are formation. Their formation look like a spearhead, and they are fighting down to the golden triangle. Who's going to go down? It's not a good fight for PTSD LTD. The formation not working. Sin Q needs to run for his life, but he will be slowed down by the Chakram. Yeah, as well, walking a little bit slowly. They might have to let this one go. Chasing, <laughs> yeah. Remnant, got Golden, it. dead. How much, how much do you think they paid the Centaur, the neutral creep? Because he stomped two heroes of LGD. Dyer's like, he just came into the fight and just stomped them randomly. Definitely. How much dollars a lot. Think? Yeah. True. A lot. Yeah. a lot, a lot. Like, and, uh, what, $10? Um, 20 FGD. 20 SGD, okay, that's yeah. a fair price. Another smoke up here. Yeah. He has Orchid picked up on Ember Spirit. If he gets caught, he can die very easily. Ooh, uh, okay. And Orchid, and, and, and pull it back to the Ender Remnant. Very nice placing the Ender Remnant to kill nothing to say. And they're gonna get extra reward too, getting the power, Radiance maybe one or two power. Under yeah, and the enemy Misk as well. Anime Misk is Alchemist that is overcharged Radiance because it looks like an anime. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it actually, just attacks so fast that you can't see his hands. They're just wobbling around. Okay. All right. And the gold difference is building. Already 5k ahead now on yeah. the Enigma. They're doing so much better than the game one already. So really? it really yeah. seems like Iron Man on support is doing way better, and Kuro on offlane is also doing way better. So just overall, yeah. it's a big increase in performance here. However, free yeah. Roshan for LGD. Perfect timing for them, you know, going into the Rotan hit without any spot from the enemy. And that's the first HS goes to Troll Warlord. Um, yeah, I, I absolutely agree with you what that Nigma they are doing much better than the early game. And right now, they got a great early game. It's all good. Okay, they go in, they try to pull it back with the Edo Remnant, the same minute he kills. Uh, nothing to say, one more time. Okay. Setting in Kuroki in the front line, he got away with the Fima chain, but for how long? He, Going back in once again for Rival. Keep in mind that PSE LGD is holding an edges. So if you want to yeah. commit and go in for the big trade, well, you got to kill him two times. Yeah, but the troll got glimpsed away as he used ultimate, so he saved his timber saw with that one. All right, let's see. Oh. Do some uh, net worth checks. Oh, actually, yep. don't let's do take some a look. checks. Troll is running in on top of the Timbersaw yep. again. Get, it gets glimpsed away once more, and Timbersaw just chains out. They have no way of catching up to him. Man, these disruptor okay. glimpses are really hard to deal with for the Troll right now. He has no BKB. He's going for Saint Joshua first. Definitely, he's gonna go for the next item BKB for Troll Warlord because that was a good point. Every time you want to run in, you gotta get glimpsed back. My goodness, now let's take a look. It seems like Team Nigma tried to put a lot of pressures on, on Team BNC LGD, not giving them any space to breathe. They just keep on fighting, fighting because they know that Kurogi are very strong at this point. And... They're making so much space. Already fighting out the yeah. old head of the troll, and he's on a very good pace to take the yeah. big fan of that Belgian next. Belgian is very much first. By the build of the armor pass, it's an attack because Mjolnir Radiance is a little bit overkill. I know they're, they're playing it, but that's too much. Yeah, too much. We'll see. And I'm sure he he will listen to me because people always listen to me. That's one of my strengths. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm well, I may listen to you in the previous game that you went for BKB and won it. Yeah. Yeah. So if you okay. want to win in Dota, you just listen to me. Very simple. Yeah. That's good. And Troll Saint yeah. Joshua picked up now. He needs his BKB before he can really start team fighting. Radiance miss chance, on that. glimpses, just too many annoying spells. Um, well, at this rate, 
of the farm or of the game. I think Troll gonna get it in six minutes. Six minutes, okay. I say four minutes thirty. Okay. We'll see. All right, they are grouping up. I think this is going to be a big, big smoke into the golden triangle once again. PSG LGD. Uh, they know that Alchemist is inside, and they send some hawk in. And, uh, and look what Alchemist queued up. The soul cuirass. Everyone listens to me. I'm telling you, everyone. Nice one. Yeah. Thank Good you very job. much. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. That's what I'm uh, paid for. Radiance top is under attack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, 20 minutes in. This is the uh, oh, okay. Some big fight breaks out on top. Not big. It's Kuroki trying to get down the uh, cool. Sin kills yeah. running away. He will be slow a little bit, but Chakram Kuro a little bit too deep, I would it's say. Very because deep now, here. yeah, a little bit too deep for Kuroki. He's trying now. Suddenly he regrets his decision, trying Radiance to walk down. away, it's but it's a little bit too late for him. And his team is smoking in. Might not expect this on LGD here. Yeah, oh, let's go for round two. What a surprise fight here. Big man stays on high ground, covered the high ground first and waiting for Team PSG LTD to join the team fight right here. Now, in the meanwhile, they're slashing some ancient creeps. Yeah. Cut them out for some extra money. Uh, Alchemist really wants to wait until he has his uh, Assault Cruise. Once he has that, he's pretty much invulnerable because he has the BKB as well, especially when an IO is on top of him. He's going to have so much attack speed. Like, I think if he attacks with Io overcharging him, like, the game will just crash. Yeah, true. Yeah. So they have to be careful, because they're in a really good position. You don't want the uh, game to be remade. Yeah, yeah. Too fast. Yeah. Too fast. Right, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, you you pick kill? up by Dark Willow? Mm -hmm. That means he has a setup for his curse. Was Bramble Maze. Nothing to say. Picking up his own Yules to counteract the Void Spirit. A little orchid. quiet. This game for nothing to say, you think? I mean, we don't see some fancy move roaming around, ganking from him that much. Yeah, he has been shut down early by Miracle. Like, yeah. Miracle absolutely owned the lane. The and then the early Orchid pickup just made it very hard for Radiant's nothing to say to play. Is under attack. But yeah. now he has his Yule Scepter available. Still, attack. a lot of counter stone. Like, if he uses himself, he gets disrupted, the whole team will still die. If he uses and then gets Orchid, then he will die. If Alchemist jumps on him, he will die. So, bottom line is, it's very easy to die. Yeah, then what, uh, what's the solution for him? Uh, teammates. You have to believe in your teammates. Okay, yeah, cool. maybe the power of B can be. Yep, let's take a look at the fight around here. Duraco, one to one, man to man, slashing on that sin kill. Not that hard kill. The rest of Team PSC LTD knows that it's already an over fight, so they fall back. Sin kill. At this point. Are they gonna get a yep. glimpse? Glimpse is ready very soon. But here's a random so long, long range using Timber Chain. Yeah. Yeah. And that's bottom tower. What about the warding game? It feels like Nigma having slightly better on the warding game, like they know what they want and they always have the vision over there. Yeah. Uh, because because have, for uh, example. More map control. Mm. You know, you have more map control, you take more towers, that means you can get deeper wards in more easily. Alright. Now he's been charging up stun. He's gonna stun himself here. Yeah. No, we can be you in trouble here. Yeah, stun himself and he's gonna get the stun here. Yeah, and here we go, he's here setting up the uh, turn on the BKB, he's running away, he's trying to find the target for Alchemist. Oh no, a little bit too big. I'm not sure. I... And next one gonna be Kuroki, getting chopped down by PSG Army. Nice one, but he's in there. Alchemist. Oh, spinning around, slowing him out with the wild axes. Alchemist. And he will be the next he one to go down. This down. is. A... Yeah, failed project. For team that was a man. massive blunder and by uh, Weeha. He ran in, charged the stun up, but didn't BKB before he got stunned by himself. And the brought his team in a really bad position, and LGD capitalized on it perfectly, resulting in a 4 0 team fight. And suddenly the, the net worth is back to even, which is never where you want to be if you have an Alchemist in your team. Middle tower has fallen. Like Troll late game eats Alchemist alive. He needs one Dyer's or two more items, his Alchemist will attack. not be able to fight him. Oh my goodness, we see the, fight the here replay. Again. Yeah, there was Dyer's after Alchemist stunned himself, Troll just dealing way too much damage. You can see that the Nygma is out of position here. Io 
not in the position he wants to be. And then uh, he also timber chains in on uh, Kuroki just to be able to help out the Alchemist, but his BKB runs out. Very good stomp by Elder Titan. And in the end, once your BKB is over, you just have no way of fighting back as an Alchemist. You need to kill people during your BKB. If you use your BKB defensively, you already lost the fight. All right, just when we, we see the replay, I think the next fight is about to start. Potentially, I mean, those two teams, they're really just fighting non-stop. This game doesn't have as many kills as last game, because they have a lot more heroes that can survive more easily, but they're just fighting non-stop. Okay, I'm gonna send in Kuroki once again. Now, let's let's push, let's do the creep wave control first. Make sure that they are not disadvantaged in terms of the creep wave. Meanwhile, on top lane, PSC, LGD grouping up, trying to take down top tier towers. And, yep. And yeah, then they're sending in Pro Warlord, setting up the uh, SS Trace, throwing in the Uncivil for Cops in front of the BKB. Let's take a look. Toe to toe, pound to pound, who's gonna go down? Oh, Kuroki in the lowest. Yeah, Real Case away, and Kuroki for the first one to get chopped down by PSC LGD Army. That was, uh, I mean, he, he saved his Alchemist with the relocate, but Kuroki went in by himself. That's like another miscommunication. That we have seen last game already, that really, you know, Dyer's at this level of play, it can't happen because he will get punished too severely. He gets picked off by himself, and a free tower for LGD as well. Yeah, that, that's a big point. Oh my god. Get the kill, get the tower, objective done. Also be able to play some obstacle wards to cover the area. And Troll uh, is scaling too much. Like, Alchemist is kind of stagnating, whereas Troll is just getting stronger and stronger. He's building into an uh, Skadi next. Once he has the Skadi plus Basher, there is no way that Alchemist can fight him. Like, just absolutely no way. Like, he has to run away every time Troll is on top of him. Another, oh, another Armin getting caught out. Well. Long range using the Searing Chains, catching another support is RMN. Well, the game doesn't look good now for Team Nygma, it feels like. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, you're not even worth my time. They just shackle him and the Beastmaster summons kill them. Uh, kill them by themselves. Like, I'll let my beasts do my work. Yeah. Do you like the, the nerf of the Beastmaster? I'm not really nerfed, before. Just like 30 no, movement speed. Still... A very strong hero. I hate playing against Beastmaster. I hate getting slowed by these boards. It's so... It just feels so... Bad, like mm. you, you're, you're having like ankle weights on you know, you, you try to run, but you can't run, it's too heavy. Your legs are not, yeah, moving. especially when you play a carry that cannot reach his wall Dyer's and getting through all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's just so annoying, and there's so much damage too. It's like a mosquito plus ankle weights. Oh, no, I thought, yeah, yeah, I can feel it's the your worst pain. combination, trust me. All right, 2K ahead. Now this is actually the first time Team PSC LGD to swing back the momentum on their side. Taking the lead in terms of network just a little bit, but the momentum looking very good for them. Nygma, yeah. Nygma. I, I, I can see there's some big fight about to happen in your lane. Okay. Oh, okay. Setting up the circle. Rambo mates uh, to the Obstacle Ward first to shut down the uh, visions of Team Nygma. Nygma need to fall back. They can't see anything. Yeah, it feels a little bit like Nygma lost the time. Like the Timber Shot is not as strong anymore. The Voice Spirit yep. with his Orchid early is not as strong anymore. And this Alchemist, you know, even though his network is really high, he also kind of missed his timing. Like now Troll is the, the king of this game. And we'll really see that here. He has a Blizzard Blade picked up now. So anyone he jumps on top of, very easy kill. Right. Yeah, Troll Warlord now standing in front line. Look at that. Army. Going has I like that power. sound effect. Oh, did you like it? Yeah, I like it. Now, he, he's going on the high ground. Oh, he lost down the career. The yeah, got the career and now taking down the one to three tower. They need to do something in order to defend his power. Standing in front for Warlord, getting pulled in by the Ether Weapon. He, 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 he didn't even care. He swiped on the tower. Keep on striking the tower like AK-47. Now he's falling back. Maybe they might perform a fake B here. Camping now, up fake at B is some risky. certain point. Fake B risky because BKB cooldown. I see, yeah. yeah they, they don't want to fight without troll BKB. And Nygma knows that, so they're smoking up themselves, trying to find the troll. If they find him without BKB, they can potentially kill him twice. Be a game All right. changing fight. But the uh, LGD is also smoked up. Are yeah, they going to meet on the high ground here? Cyclops, are they going to meet on the high ground here? Oh! 
Oh, yes, they will. It's going to be fun. Shadow Realm to simulate all this stuff. Try and find a target. And it's still a concoction. We need some support. Team kill first one to go down. Now they are advantage in terms of numbers. But by a bot back right away. By ETSC LGD. Five back in. by Rev Nantin. Here we go. Astro steps. And it seems like Nygma, the rest of the player, trying to fall back into the base. And I think the manage do it. Oh, are we going to see I round almost. three? Could be one more team fight? Possibly, but now Nygma doesn't have BKB, so it probably won't really go out too far from the mm. base. But again, LGD also knows that they're very smart, so they are definitely looking for a fight in their ages. Troll has this BKB up again. And bottom Rex is yep. uh, exposed, so that's their next target. Yeah, and the jumps under the rocket is not going to be taken out immediately. And by the goal, right back. And they're trying to go for the power, and they're going to the Primal Raw, great setup, and next one's going to be Risk, uh, Risky Raw 2, Alchemist is gone, the two partners, triple kill for DSC, LTD, Arne, oh my goodness, money come and go, but Arne will always come back, Arne, if you set up one set up on that pistol chain, he keeps up there, and they are in front of the, uh, Fear, fearful power. Now I think they should fall back a little bit. But that's the thing. Did you see how fast Alphonse died? Alphonse died in one second. And he's uh, 25,000 Necro Fear. Troll just gives way too much damage at this point in the game. Nobody has buyback. And we might just be looking at Nygma going down 0 4 here. 0 4 on the first day. And they still have one more series to play. Like, they must be very tough mentally as well. Oh my god. Now yeah, the game is well, all over. I mean, they had the game under control pretty much all the time, but that one misplay by Alchemist at the H10 really just turned the game around to PSG's favor. And ever since then, it has been all LGD. Like, the troll got too strong, can't fight back anymore, and they missed their timings. I, it's unfortunate. Yeah, it, they looked but, really but, good, you know? They looked really good. It's just PSG is a really strong team as well. Like, it was so subtle.